A very warm greetings to everyone. This is Suhasni S, yes, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, I am going to talk about the subject Database Management System and the topic which I am going to discuss is Algorithm for Select and Joint Operation. So, we will go and see what are the algorithms we will use for select operation. So, obviously in, uh, in, in, in query processing, you will be like uh, always you will do this select operation, right? So, how come you will measure the uh, optimization of the query, okay? So, so uh, probably you will be using this select operation many ways. So, we will find the, uh, I mean the cost estimation time for the select operation. We have two different algorithm. One is linear search and the other one is binary search. So, when we go and uh, catch this, okay, when we go and, uh, I mean, monitor or you calculate this particular cost is like, while you are scanning your file, you want to search some file, you want to get some file, in that time, how you will get that file, okay, in what time you will get that file, I want to measure that. So, first, I am going to perform with linear search. So, linear search, how how many times you have just, how much time you are taking to, uh, uh, I mean, find the records. So, for that, I have a conditions, okay, when, when I go for this is, when I need, okay, when I want to search for a very, uh, a very data a big database when the when i want some external hard disk also in that cases i want to uh, find the cost estimation too okay so for that the formula is cost is equal to br okay the number of uh, uh, records in the uh, number of blocks in overall relation plus one sake okay so similarly where br denotes the number of blocks okay as i said the number of blocks containing records from the relation are so if the uh, next one is if the select okay whatever you want to access if that particular file okay if that particular uh, file is a key attribute then you can stop the record finding and you can go for, for and calculate with the help of this formula that is cost is equal to br by 2 block transfer plus one seek one seek is nothing but the time taken for uh, finding that particular block of i i mean that particular slide okay next coming to the binary search as we all know for the linear search how this linear search will do is the linear search will uh, check each and every records until you find that uh, record what you want but uh, because, which means it goes sequentially but instead okay to make the time consuming and all those things i'll go for search but so, uh, sorry binary search what binary search will do binary search will like it will divide right it will divide your i mean your set of files with some conditions uh, similarly when you go uh, uh, for the normal binary search you will take a middle element you will find uh, the right hand side will be greater and the left hand side will be smaller in such cases you are dividing right when i have play something like if i want to get only the salary uh, a salary of a person with this uh, name who is greater than some condition then i'll go in that side right instead of going and accessing every each and every record sequentially so in those cases we can go for this binary search so similarly uh, how you will measure the cost is like log base to br into t capital t plus t s t t is nothing but the average time required to transfer a block of data and uh, the or t s is nothing but the uh, average block access time okay that is transfer of block of data this is access time both will be measured in seconds where br as we know br is the number of blocks containing the records from the relation r so this is how you will be measuring with the help of binary search now coming to the algorithm for joint operation we have uh, uh, probably will go for this joint operation so uh, when you say joint operation definitely it is going to perform two uh, it needs two table right only if you have two tables you will combine those two tables so the the main thing is you need some two tables so, when you make join two tables and you are accessing the data, instead of searching separately in this table and that table, your time will be reduced. So, it is time consuming operation. So, what are the several algorithms that comes under the nested loop join? block nested loop join index nested loop join and merge join and uh, as join these are some of the algorithm which will coming going to come under the joint operation join operation okay so next is algorithm <coughs> for nested loop join 
so i told there will be two relation which means two tables one is r table and the one other one is s table clear so now what is the algorithm uh, all we, uh, here you have two tables okay two relations i want to combine those two so with the help of the for condition i am just uh, uh, checking the conditions i need two for loop right so first for loop for the first relation r and second for loop for the second relation yes so when i go and check this condition if it is satisfied i will add or else i'll come back okay so i need to to for loop and i'll make it as nested for loop so this is for nested join so the, how you will measure <coughs> So some worst case, what is this worst case? If there, if I don't have any enough memory, well, then what I should do? Then I want to estimate the cost to exp extend my uh, memory, right? For that, you will measure with NR into BS plus BR and plus NR plus BR, okay? So this is nothing but, so you will measure the number of blocks, okay? Number of blocks in relation into block size and in one relation into block size in the other relation, okay? So this is how you will measure. If this is only if you go for worst case where your memory is not sufficient. This is next one is BR plus BS plus 2, 6 is nothing but when you have only small table and you can fit that into your memory, then that, that comes under the um i mean your joint operation that can be uh reduced because it will have some reduced cost with the help of br plus bs and you have two six why here it two six is you have two tables you have need to have two act you need to access uh, two tables right so now for example i have customers and orders how you will join and how you will calculate so for customer the number of records of customer is ten thousand and number of records of the order is five thousand number of blocks of the customer is 400 and number of blocks of the order is 100 so now my formula used is nr into bs plus br block transfer and second one what you have to do is nr plus bs 6 so r is your outer relation s is your inner relation now you have to calculate with order as outer relation i have my nr so number of blocks in order okay uh, outer relation which means this i am calculating for order right see check here with order which means i have to take number of records of the order 5000 so num so the, for the block of 400 and for this relation is 100 i am substituting that in this formula i am getting some value and my second is nr plus bs for that also how many six i am getting how many block transfer and how many six i am performing for this uh joining the outer relation so similarly you will go and calculate for customer as uh, as an outer relation so you will go for a customer table what is the number of records and what are uh, the number of uh, blocks in first relation and the second relation so now you uh, calculate and you'll get what is an, um, a block transfer and how many six you need for transferring that particular block so this is for when you don't have enough enough memory if suppose if you have enough memory then you can directly go for br plus bs that is 400 plus 100 which is 500 block transfer you want now coming to the block for the block nested loop join so now i have to join the blocks also in this case now just nothing different like or uh, nothing difference much difference between nested and this uh, block nested here you will create some separate block uh, block loop for uh, these two relation so you will go for additional two block for loops okay then after that only you will go for the first block search all this process then second blocks do for the search and get make this condition satisfied and you will let up so when the for the worst case when the memory is not enough you will go br into <coughs> <coughs> br into bs plus br <coughs> plus next is 2 into br6 for calculating block transfer and this is for calculating the 6 so if you are have only more than enough space when only, only you have small database to fit then you can directly go for br plus bs plus 2 6 okay so merge join like when you want to do the merge operation you will do either uh, with help of eq join or natural join my formula is um, br plus bs block transfer and for six okay plus br by bb and plus bs by bb six 
So these are the cost uh, calculation for merge sort. So similarly for the hash function with the help of this hash function, you will perform this cost function also. So the formula is 3 into BR plus BS plus 4 into what n number how many blocks you have plus 2 into the same formula what you used for this merge operation that you will carry out for C calculation. So if you go if you are um, I mean if, if you have enough space and you want to calculate then you can go for BR plus BS, BS directly. So thank you.